हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द लेक्चर बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट देर आर फ्यू कॉन्सेप्ट्स दैट आर कोर टू एलास्टिक सर्च अंडरस्टैंडिंग दीज कॉन्सेप्ट्स इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो दैट इट इज वेरी इजी टू लर्न एलास्टिक सर्च प्रोसेस सो द फर्स्ट वन इज नियर रियल टाइम समटाइम्स इट इज कॉल्ड एस NRT near real time what this means is there is a slight latency or some delay from the time you index a document until the time it will be searchable and the latency or the delay it is not much it's normally 1 second but there is some delay between the real data and the actual searchable data so that is the reason elastic search is called as near real time data next one is cluster a cluster is nothing but it's a collection of one or more servers or nodes that together holds our entire data and provides searching capabilities across all the nodes so a cluster is identified by a unique name by default if you install elastic search the name will be elastic search so remember the default name for cluster is elastic search this is really important because we can tell a node so which part of a cluster it belongs to so consider in our system there are two set of clusters are available then we should explicitly tell one of the node or one of the server it belongs to which cluster so in such scenarios we we have to explicitly mention the name of the cluster so usually um when we are in real time so when we are dealing with stage dev a qa and production you can give names like elastic search dev elastic search stage so that it will be differ differentiable and unique and the next one is node a node is nothing but it's a single server that is a part of our cluster and this node or this server stores our data and participates in the clusters indexing and search capabilities so and just now i mentioned a cluster have a unique name similarly a node is also identify its name and a node can be configured to join a specific cluster by using the cluster name in a single cluster we can have as many nodes as we want so the next one is index an index is a collection of documents that has somewhat similar characteristics for example so we can have an index for all customer data and we can have another index for all product data so it is useful to differentiate the data so once again index is nothing but a collection of similar documents so in the next sections we will see what uh, the correlation between 
the elastic search and database so that if you already work with the database it will be very easy to understand so and here the next one is type so i already told you what is an index so within the index we can define one or more types a type is nothing but it's a logical category or partition in general a type is defined for documents that have set of common fields for example let's assume we are running a blogging platform and store all our data in a single index in this index we may define a type for user data another type for blog data and completely a different type for our comments data so this type can be anything it's like in a company you can have a type like associates another type like vendors so completely other type contractors so it just it will differentiate the type of the documents so finally the document a document is a basic unit of information that can be indexed for example we can have a document for a single customer another document for a single product and yet another for a single order usually this document is expressed in json json is nothing but javascript object notation so people chose this because it is lightweight so the another concept is shards and replicas so an index can potentially store a large amount of data sometimes that can exceed our the hardware limits so to solve these problems elastic search provides the ability to subdivide our index into multiple pieces it's like if you have any important data or if you have a huge data instead of keeping entire data at one point we are taking a sub parts and putting in each nodes so this each node is called as shards means the subdivide i mean the subdivision of our index is called shard and when we create an index we can simply define the number of shards we want so this shard can be defined at the time of creating index so why sharding is important because it allows two important features the first one is horizontally scalable and next one is it allows us to distribute and parallelize operations across shards so the another thing is the replica a replica is nothing but just a backup so each index can be split into multiple shard and each index also be replicated 
one or more times or zero or more times so replica is nothing but just having a backup another copy in the next lecture we will see how can we install and play with elasticsearch thank you